All right, going to show biblical and archaeological evidence for the Nephilim, which are our giants. Now, obviously, Nephilim is not a scriptural term. I'm only using that term just so people know what I'm talking about. But first, let's go to the Holy Scriptures, because that is the final standard for faith and practice if you're a Christian, if you profess to be a Christian. Uh, where does these giants, where do they appear in scripture? Because I do believe these giants actually were, like, literal giants. This wasn't just some, kind of some, something symbolic. They were actual giants. Hello, kitty. My cat's right there. Hopefully he won't jump on the desk. And of course, he jumps on the desk. Silly cat, once again, having a, he always does this when I do a video, it's so funny. But, let's pause the thing real quick. All right, just my cat being a cat once again. Typical of him. Always does this when I try to record a video. But let's go to the scriptures and see what the scriptures say about these Nephilim, these giants. Genesis chapter six, verses two to four. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children unto them, and they and some and same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. There were giants in the earth in those days. Men of old, mighty men. Okay, it's not just something symbolic. I do believe I'm going to show you some skeletons that were uncovered showing that these giants actually did exist. Numbers chapter 13, verses 33. Cat is goofing off in the background. Don't know what he's doing. And there was, and there, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. Uh, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, as so we, as so we were in their sight. So these people were so these giants are so big that humans appeared as grasshoppers to them, in their sight. These giants do appear in script; they appear in scripture, but they also appear in historical archaeological evidence as well. And I'm going to show you some of that as well. So let's get right into the pictures of these skeletons that were on Earth. So first of all, here's a picture, a black and white picture, of a human skeleton, it looks like a human skeleton obviously, that was unearthed, and you see the size comparison to a normal regular man. Very very big size comparison. Uh, why? Because they're giants, they're men of old. They're mighty men, like it talks about in Genesis chapter 6. Here is the next picture, another one on earth, and then again, you can see the head proportion compares to a normal regular man's head proportion. Very very big, very very, very significant size difference there. Next picture, you have another skeleton being unearthed, which again you see just the massive uh, proportion compared to a human, a, reg a regular size man. I'm about, I'd say about six, point f six foot five, that's how tall I am, and these giants would make me look like a grasshopper, essentially. Like I said in Numbers chapter 13 verse 33, we appear as grasshoppers to them. But look at just the, the massive size difference between the human digging up the bones and the skeleton of the creature. Next picture. My cat's meowing. Again, you have this giant skeleton. And why? Because these skeletons are drowned. They were drowned in the flood. My cat is just being a cat once again. Um, they are drowned in the flood, and that's why they, that's why they had the skeletons because God sent the flood partially to destroy these giants. And I do believe that Goliath, for example, was actually a descendant of, of some of these giants. Hence, why he was so huge. But again, just look at the massive size proportions compared to a regular sized human. About you know five feet, six feet tall. I mean, these things, again, I'm pretty tall for my age. I'm about six foot five. Almost, I'm nearly around, I'm actually close to seven feet tall. And these things would, would literally dwarf me. That's how big they are. Could you imagine if these things were still alive today? It'd be pretty scary, you gotta admit. Even if you're a really big, tall guy like me, I, even I'd be afraid because these, these are pretty big. Of course, they're no match for God. I mean, God destroyed them in the flood. But it just shows how wicked man was during the time of Noah, that they actually were producing these giant you know, hybrid humans, hybrid hybrid mixture of angels and humans. Very, very wicked and just shows the depravity of man during this time period. So I just want to show you that. The existence of the Nephilim is real, it is historical, and it is biblical. So don't be deceived by anyone who say, oh, it's just symbolic, it wasn't real. Or don't be deceived by the so-called fake archaeologists who try to deny these things actually exist. They were real creatures, and they were covered up by the Vatican and the Smithsonian because they disprove evolution and prove the Bible is true. 
So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.